All right, y'all. That was um brand new single yeah. from Johnny Phillips. <laughs> Hope y'all like Good that. Investment. Now, that was a pretty good video. I, I really like the quality. Uh, thank, you. thank you. I really like the message because okay. the message interpreted to me was saying that you was investing in your woman. Of course. You, like like that's a that's a pretty good concept. You know what I mean? You, you you're talking about you're talking about you go out and do your thing. Yeah. I'm gonna buy you them shoes because cool. that's what she wants. That's so, what they like. That's what they like. Correct, correct. So you just invest in, in the things that she wants, which is which is no no, no wrong, nothing wrong with that. Nothing. That's way better than some of the content I've been hearing throughout the radio that's being pumped, funded by a billion dollar labels. Yeah. To to promote a negative message, and I really appreciate you sending that type of energy out in the world. I thank you for that, man. I thank you for that, man. I'm just thinking about you know the women and and positive messages in the clubs and when they riding, you know, and you're in the car, they got their kids in the back, they try. Kind of vibe, man. I'm just thinking about all of that, man. Yeah, I, uh, good messages, good positive vibes, man. I try to make it work, man. I'm making it work, but you know, that's just one of the songs. I'm still humble, man. I, I'm yeah, that didn't get too many hits, man. I think okay. that was only at like 20,000 hits, man. Okay. I've got more than 20,000 CDs in the streets. Okay, I need y'all to go to my YouTube page, man. I don't be sweating my fans and my friends to go to my YouTube page, but the videos is up, man. And yeah, that's absolutely. another thing, the work don't never stop, man. Absolutely, yeah. Now, call in, man. The call in to the McGraw Report, man. I need y'all to call, call in. in. Holler at your boy Johnny Phillips, man. Shout out to every Chicago rap out here doing okay. his thing, man. Right. Any Chicago rap out here, man, that know me, man, yeah. or that's out here doing their thing, man, Give call in call. right now, man. Absolutely. Holla at your boy, man. All right. Now, um, Johnny Phillips, yes, I really sir. appreciate you coming here today, and we're gonna yes, still sir. we're gonna still talk about a topic. Now, another topic we're gonna talk about is hip hop's the new rock and roll. Now, the reason why I say <laughs> hip hop's the new rock and roll, yeah, because I remember when hip hop was emerging, we still had the Lincoln Parks on top of the world, Blink um, Blink One Eighty Two. You know, that was like early two thousands. Okay. Now, rock is kind of non-existent in my opinion at the moment. Rap is the new rock. We even have rock stars. Um, you know, giving um, paying homage to rappers now, yeah. and now we have um, some of the hip hop pioneers are becoming billionaires. You know, so this is a whole new change. This is um, a whole new opportunity, and right now the influence it's like at a perfect time. We have hip hop emerging at a time where um, technology emerged. So it's like that's the to me, in my opinion, that's the best time to to get. To, to find your way. So as like technology advances and hip hop has the leverage, that's like a, you know, a match made in heaven to me. Listen, man, you couldn't say it no better, man. I've been out here grinding for a long time and I was just trying to find the right time to bubble and come into the game as a Chicago artist. I sat back and watched everybody, man. I watched L.E.P. Okay. I watched Soldiers at War. I watched, um, that's, that's the movements that we had. We had Soldiers at War, we had L.E.P. and we had, uh, 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 Louis, Louis, man, and um, I have another question for you yeah. too, brother. Before we get off, because yeah. I think we have a couple more minutes. Okay. Now, what's your opinion? Because you're a Chicagoan. Yeah. On make a make make America great again. What Kanye West had with the hat. I'm very curious to hear your opinion on make America great again. I'm very very curious. Kanye West is the god of Chicago rap. He can help any rapper in Chicago. Okay. I don't really want to get too deep into that subject. You know, the brother real sensitive, man. He can help any rapper in Chicago. That's okay. a big. Uh, move right there, him talking to the president, even about Larry Hoover. So, you know, wow. who, I don't even know nobody else that can even talk, go to the president and mention Larry Hoover's name without getting arrested. Wow. So that's a big move right there. I don't even want to touch on that subject, man, because Kanye can come down, give all us million dollar deals, and mm -hmm. we can roll up. We say the wrong thing about Kanye, man. We'll be sitting here for another 50 years waiting on a blessing. Wow. Okay. So, you know, he in position to make it all work. And right now, if it was anybody in Chicago working hard enough, yeah. he would have grabbed. They would have grabbed his attention, and he might have came to them before he came to the president. Now, I have another question too: Would you wear the American Make America Great Again hat? Would you wear the Magna hat? Would you wear it? Man, we really can't wear those hats on 79th Street. So, I, <laughs> I, man, I'm just you know I can't come out the house like that, man. If he gave me a house somewhere okay. in the burbs or some or somewhere, then hell yeah, I would I would wear it there, but. You don't you don't really see that nowhere on Inglewood, and you know when you're in the lands, you just gotta just do as we does, okay. man. So okay. to answer your question, of course not, brother. <laughs> <laughs> of course not, brother. Okay, great. You know, but if um, if Kanye signed me, man, he made me wear a hat, then you know I wear. Okay, so business. So so if it was pertaining to some type of business 
or um, he's investing in you some type of way, then you would feel like, you know what, the hat is okay. Yeah, I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I would never wear that hat, but yeah. Now, my opinion. On my, the strength of Kanye West, Now, man. my opinion yeah. on the hat is, you yeah. know, your, percep your perception is your reality. You know, because at a point in time, Facts. it's like just because I have a shirt that, that there's uh, tons of apparel that says things that can incriminate you, but we don't look at them and incriminate people because we know that it's just a shirt. So now we have the Magna hat and people are saying, make a great America again. Now we're criminalizing somebody, not criminalizing in a way, but we're, we're really, you know, uh, lynching somebody uh, for wearing apparel that's less... <laughs> degrading than some of the apparel that these department stores sell. But I just heard you say something, man. You say uh, we won't... Um, degrade de people... For wearing certain for objects. For wearing shirts I that's promise, being sold... I promise we used that to. Says that says that, that that's, that's provoking drugs. But we... I, I, right, you're right. But I promise you know. we, we used to, though. What happened was things just got watered down. Okay. Fr people got more freedom. People allowed to just... Be okay. you, do whatever you want to do, type of situation, and a lot of people taking that too far, to, okay. you know, to disrespect certain situations. Okay, you know, but when 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 you know you was you wasn't able to wear certain certain degradable okay. things, man, you know, okay. to to respect other people. But okay. now it's like uh, you should already know this type of thing. It's twenty eighteen. The out with the old, in with the new type okay. of thing, and. Hey, 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 Johnny, you got to hold that thought. We're going to talk, okay, okay. we're, we're talk about that yeah. after the show. Now, I thank everybody for coming in today. I thank my brother for coming out on my Johnny. show today. I really, no. I really appreciate it. Yes, and if you, if you see this guy out here, if you see Johnny Phillips, if you see this sticker anywhere throughout Chicago, you know where you've seen it first. You've seen it first on the McGraw Report. Anything you want to say before we get about it here, brother? Man, listen, I want to tell all of y'all, man, to go to gasstationeverything.com. I want to tell y'all to share all of this on your Facebook pages, man. We got we went through a lot of real situations. I didn't know what questions he was going to ask me. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming back because I'm going to be one of the hottest rappers out here. I'm going to okay. blow in, a, in about six months to, to 12 months. Uh, we didn't talk about Kanye. I hope I meet Kanye. If I don't meet Kanye, I hope I blow. And, all you know, right. it's gas station everything, y'all. I'm Johnny Phillips, and I will be Back, I sell records. All right, get out, y'all. Have a good one.